So we're scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at maximum. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny wily stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to hear energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw. And now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and this is episode number 69. Giggity, 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 giggity. Anyway, childishness aside, um, childishness aside, this week we are looking at the Super Bowl trailers that dropped this week, just out of the blue. Because, to be perfectly honest, we're in Australia, we don't know... a pay that much attention to Super Bowl, we're nerds, the hey. Super Bowl is sports, and it's just like, that's it's a lot of effort, and it's another country, and it just means nothing to us, but the trailers that drop, Ooh. damn. So, first off, I just want to mention, there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one that Stuart wants to talk about, but I'm the host, so I say no, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles doesn't exist, and we're pretending it's no longer there, it's gone, it's off into space. <laughs> so, joining me this week, we have Amy. We have Stuart. There is Krang in the trailer. It does exist. No, no, it doesn't. And there is Eugene. Hello. There he is. <laughs> Not for long. I'm going to have to drop out again. Oh, and we have a last second addition to the podcast. Master EJ has joined the call out of nowhere. Why, how are you, young Padawan? <laughs> so, as I said... On the podcast tonight, we're looking at the Super Bowl trailers, and maybe, if we have enough time, we'll be talking about who we think should be the next Doctor in Doctor Who when Capaldi leaves. That's the, one I, that's the conversation I'm going to be waiting for. Oh yeah, so uh, Eugene is having all sorts of issues with Skype, so if you hear Wujup and Padink, it's just him jumping in and out of the call. So we need to sort of apologise for that in advance. Um... So anyway, let's start off by looking at the X-Men Apocalypse Super Bowl, since it's at the top of my my list. Zunk. Let's destroy the world. And I think EJ's gone now. Yep, EJ's gone now. <laughs> Yay! Most all the Americans. Yay! <laughs> Skype issues. Not ten seconds in. Anyway, let's just pretend that's not an issue at the moment. And have a look at the... Whoops. Super Bowl trailer. So it starts off with them launching missiles, presumably nukes. That's a lot of them in one area. Oh yeah, well that's America for you. Didn't yeah. you know all American farmland is actually nukes? It's just it's what the farmland is really is. They import all their food. Um, they really don't. And then you see Apocalypse for the first time, and damn, he grows big. Yeah, he does. It's really like I love the effects of it. Yeah. Then we see a first look at the X Men. Um, young Scott and all that building sort of vaporizing almost like what um, Phoenix did when she in the movie that shall not be named and doesn't exist because it's probably one of the worst X-Men movies ever not the point and we had a first look at the young the young sort of X-Men and they actually look really good so mm. I uh, really love um, Psylocke yeah and you see a crazy you see a crazy chick with a Lightsaber, cutting a car in half. Psylocke. Yeah, I know. I'm just going with Crazy Chick with Lightsaber. <laughs> and cuts car in half. That cuts car in half. Or you, oh, you see Magneto going absolutely nuts. You see... They dis I'd love to know why they're destroying, destroying the whole city. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, it's, it reminds me of um, the words from the first trailer. They said they'll destroy it and then he'll build a better one. So Yeah. Yeah, so it, it sort of goes long, multiple shots of sort of heroy, action-y sort of pose shots. And then we see Apocalypse choking out Mystique. And she looks like she's really enjoying it. No, she really doesn't. And that's, yeah, doesn't. And that's the end of the... I've seen an X-Men one. It looks really interesting. Like, I've my standards for X-Men movies are pretty low at this point. 
they're nowhere near like they're lower than my Batman versus Superman standards, to be perfectly honest, and we all know how low they are. <laughs> so and we'll get to that when we get to the Batman versus Superman trailers that dropped. So oh, those are funny. Yeah, so, so what do you guys think of the, the X Men Apocalypse trailer? Uh, again, uh, I do like X Men, I would like to see it do well. Hopefully they don't destroy it this time around. <laughs> I just want a hidden. I just want one little hidden cameo of of, of a Logan in there. I don't care if he's just like hiding in the background somewhere. Yeah. I thought. I thought it. There was a picture of him. No, he's not in this one. Oh yeah, his Skype is broken again. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of us. One of us is gonna notice that. <laughs> Anyway, we'll just we'll do the trailers and then we'll reset for Doctor Who. Yeah. All right. So next one. Yep. Civil War. Oh yeah, the Civil War one. Um, let's see, where's that? Uh, Cloverfield, boring. Civil War. There it is. So for those who are curious, I'm currently looking at the. Whoopsie, forgot to mute it. That would have been slightly loud, I apologise. Um, I'm looking at the sci-fi.com um, have all of them in one article, so you can just sort of scroll through them. So it starts off with the, the, the vault opening. You see Bucky in a whole Borg Queen setup. He's sort of all roped up and hanging from the roof. He appears to be missing his hand on the robot side. I can't really see it. He looks yeah, really messed up. It's like dark and it's really... Smoky, so. Yeah, no, it's definitely not there. Um, it's not shining. Yeah, a couple of. No, it's not. A couple what of. That means it's like, what if it like it means you can take it off and change it with like certain <laughs> other arm hands. Robocop style. <laughs> oh, Hulk. Uh, Hulk. Um, Captain Hook. Captain Hook, yeah. Well, I was more thinking like ones for like, um, like they do different things. Yeah. So. Um, then we see a couple of different sort of really quick flash shots of, let's see, we've got, um, Falcon, Falcon. I was trying to think of his name, Falcon, on the roof, random cops, what looks like War Machine's hand, trying to arrest Captain America and Bucky, and you see Bucky giving War Machine a really big death stare, I <laughs> say, it's, like, say it's War Machine because look at the hand and it's glowing, yeah, that's it's definitely a repulsor. Nice. It's definitely War Machine, sort of facing off to try and capture them. What Captain America. Um, oh yeah, we'll get to that. Fingers. We'll get to that. Captain America jumping through a window like he always loves to do. He doesn't know what a door is. <laughs> Seriously, every movie he enters the room through a window. It's like you could have a one of those giant double garage doors wide. He would be standing in front of it. He would see there's a window at the side of the garage, and he'd jump through that, and he'd be like. What? It's the only way I could see in. And she's like, seriously, guy, just a door. Just use a goddamn door. <laughs> he must be taking after this, uh, ninjas from Naruto. Yeah. It's like, he, he doesn't even use the door in the elevator. He jumps out the back of it and falls to the fucking ground. It's like, it's like really, guy? <laughs> really? So you see a building blow up. You see, um, someone covering a mouth. I'm not exactly sure who that is. Is that Scarlet... Um, yeah, that's her own hand covering her. Yeah, Scarlet Witch. Which means those rings that she's wearing are the same rings as from the first trailer, so... See Bucky with a new and shiny robot hand looking very pissy. And then we've got the new watch. I want this watch. Oh, yeah. The watch that turns into a glove. The watch that turns into a little mini Iron Man glove. That stops bullets. Yeah. And Bucky tries to, sh yeah. Bucky tries. I thought it like deflected off his sunglasses. <laughs> Bucky tries to. Shit, those are strong sunglasses. So Bucky, um, so Tony manages to grab the gun Bucky's holding. Bucky shoots straight into the glove, and was just like what? Yeah, and Tony was not impressed by that. We then finally get to the airport, and we see stuff exploding. Now, I suspect that shot that where she's looking forward and there's stuff exploding in front of her. Let's back up a little bit. Um, I suspect... That's, yeah, that's not in America. Yeah, that is not in America. 
because while the trucks that flew happened that Leipzig had yeah it's German yeah um and not only that you don't actually see what's causing the explosion so I suspect that there's gonna be um some Ant Man like be- oh no I'm guessing that's gonna be like the beginning of the movie yeah. Because uh, there's meant to be an international in- incident that like sparks everything. I'm guessing that's what it is. So. Yeah, but they're standing on different sides. Yeah, we we get a quick shot of War Machine down. His shoulder mounted gun is gone. He's he's Tony d- rips his face off. Yeah, he looks dead. I don't think he's gonna be dead, but he looks dead. He looks in a really bad way. So Tony yeah, rips his. Thing, instead of killing off like um. Because we all, we, for those who've read the comics, we all know how this this is supposedly meant to go. Yeah. It'd be interesting instead of they killed off War Machine and then cap, kept Cap from Infinity War. Yeah. Um, let's see. We then see Winter Soldier gearing up on a mountain. We see Winter Soldier and Captain America joining teams to fight face off against Tony in his shiny new Iron Man suit. And then we have the moment the teams. On one side, you have Ant-Man in a shiny new suit. His face mask is totally different. That or they just haven't fully CG'd him yet, and it's sort of a pre-render. Um, which wouldn't surprise me, judging by the look of it. I know, it does look horrible, actually. <laughs> it looks really weird. You got... like, can we go back to the old The old suit would look better. Yeah. you got Falcon, you got Hawkeye, you got Captain America, you got Scarlet Witch, and you got Bucky on one side. Um... On this hero shot, on the other side, you've got War Machine, Scarlet, uh, sorry, Scarlet Johansson, Black Widow, Black Widow Vision, Iron Man, and Kick-ass Panther. Oh yeah, Black oh, Panther no. on the other. Um, there's no Hawkeye. Yeah, there was. He's on Captain America's side. Okay, there. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. We we forgive you for skip missing out on Hawkeye. So Everybody misses out on Hawkeye. Spidey. Yeah, exactly. And no Hulk. So. Well, we know Hulk's not in it. Yeah, we know Hulk and Thor are not in this. Hulk and Thor are going to be in Ragnarok. Yeah. So, um... But I would I just would still love to see a Deadpool cameo in it. Like, <laughs> just at the end. Just at the end, you, it just pan, it's the, ca- the camera pans backwards, and it's just Deadpool sitting in, in, like... You know, like, one of those actor's chairs or, like, director's chairs? Yeah. It's got, like, a bucket of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> That would be perfect. It's just, just that, that'd be the perfect end credit scene for fucking Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching his own movie. No, no, yep. it, it, it pulls out uh, from the screen and it reveals that the cinema is just full of Deadpool. Just a whole oh. cinema of Deadpool. They're all eating popcorn and just, just laughing and chatting. And <laughs> I just feel like, what the hell? So. Oh, the end of the tra- uh, this tra- um, end of the movie, you got Deadpool going. Oh, come see me! Or something like that, in his loopy way. And then now we move on to Deadpool. Yep. Oh, I, I, as much as I ha- I do love all the advertising, I kind of want to stop because I just don't want to see any more since we're so close. Oh, I know. And we're definitely covering Deadpool next podcast. Oh, hell yes. So, I'm going to be watching it tomorrow. What? For... Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm watching it tomorrow. How did you get early tickets? Because I am a god and gods are all-knowing and all-powerful. Oh, I knew I should have talked to the people. I'm seeing a Valentine's Day with my fiance. Nice, nice. I'm not seeing it. What? No, I, c- I can't stand for that. Reasons. Why are you not watching it? I'm not one for blood, guts, and gore. But it's funny, blood, guts, and gore. <laughs> and a sex montage. <sighs> I'm not joking, there actually is one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've been avoiding as much of that stuff as I can, but I've still been laughing at the trailers because they're hilarious. Okay, anyway, let's start with the... Let's move on to the Deadpool trailer. Okay, so it starts off showing some pretty kick-ass fight scenes. And because I've got it muted, you can't actually hear him. Breaking the fourth wall yeah. again. Yeah, that's what Deadpool oh, does. Oh, how many times... The, uh, we, what the hell? We need to account of how many times the fourth wall gets broken in the movie. Yeah. Sorry, I've just... I've paused on the shot where he's exploded something behind a metal frame and he's flying himself up onto a platform to knock out these guys. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> throws throws a sword to take a dude off a bike. Uh, you see him all burnt and crispy, beating the crap out of somebody. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I, I, I'm thinking it might be Ajax. Ajax. But, uh, Ajax is the is the main bad guy, and is the one who who's um, like you're not gonna be a, a, a superhero, you're gonna be a super slave. Okay. Basically, the transformer. Fair enough. Um, you see Colossus trying to take out Evil Chick, and Evil Chick's just like, yep, yeah, not having any of that. So a pretty badass roundhouse, roundhousey sort of kick to take out. It's more. It, it's yeah, like a flip kick thing. Yeah, it's more of a spinning. Spinning kick. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a spinning heel kick, it's more like a spinning, um... Yeah, anyway. Move on, massive, massive explosion with, um, Colossus running away carrying, um, the, I'm assuming that's the chick over the shoulder, judging by yeah, that ass. Yeah, uh, super, super negas, negasonic forehead teenager. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> it looks like it's... Deadpool under the other arm? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing, right under the other arm. Yeah. You see, de uh, you see the car scene again. Have you seen this man? <sighs> and yeah, and that's pretty much it. So it's really qu short, really to the point, and I really cannot wait to watch that movie. It's actually great. Um, Jody Stanley is um buying the soundtrack for it. Very nice. Deadpool, so. <laughs> yes, yes, it's okay. We did not hear you start to say something else. Huh? Downloading. Yeah, no. Jody, Jody's download uh, uh, buying. <laughs> no, I got no, no, she's so, actually buying it off yeah. iTunes. So. Yeah, so, they will be downloading well. Anyway, um, now we come along to the Batman vs Superman stuff. Oh yeah. Oh god. If this is if this doesn't win the awards for cheesiest trailers of the year, I don't know what does. Oh yeah, I'll let you break these ones down. Oh yeah, thanks. Make me do the cheesy ones. Yep, because it's Batman vs Superman, and we all know exactly how I feel about those. They really need to learn so how yeah, to do better. Literally, these trailers bring nothing to the movie at all, except it just it just is an ad for Turkish Airlines, sponsored by Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor. Yeah, pretty much. That's all I need to say on that. Yeah, it, it, they are done really well. They are pretty funny, but yeah, they're not. They don't really add anything. No. There's no point to them. Yeah. Oh, there is, but not really. I'm actually really, I'm actually kind of a little sad. There was rumours that Disney may or may not have put out a Rogue One little teaser. For this? For Super Bowl? Uh, yeah, and what it was, what, um, what the rumour was, it was just going to be a black screen and Vader's breathing and then just Rogue One comes up. <laughs> and that would have broken the internet. Oh, yeah. Because there, uh. there is massive blades, pretty much confirmed Vader's going to be in Rogue One. It's like 90% confirmed at this point. Nice. Um, okay, let's do Independence Day last. Because it's by far my favourite of all the trailers that dropped. Oh, it, that was one that made me drop my jaw. Oh yeah, so we'll move on to Ant-Man vs. Hulk. The, <laughs> the Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, <laughs> Ant-Man vs. Hulk. Now, this one doesn't add anything to the movie, but it is just it's a lot of laughs. You see the fridge open, you see a Coke just legging it across the counters. Um, you see the... Bruce you see Dr. Bruce Banner walks in, and he's like, you don't mind if I take this last can, do you? Whee! Jumps out of the building. Just hear, I'm like, oh, you do mind. Hulk breaks out of the building, starts chasing him. He's, Hulk's jumping from building to building, just doing crap tons of damage everywhere. While tiny little ant man is just running on top of the can, long style, <sighs> catches the uh, goes down a pipe, catches the can. Hulk catches up, does the Hulk roar thing that sort of blasts everything back. He passes in the can, and the Hulk can't open it, so he <laughs> starts getting really angry at it. So Ant Man jumps up the Hulk, opens the can for him, grabs a tiny little morsel of spray, noms on that, and then Hulk drinks it. Now, this is what makes me say that I think the C the Captain America shot isn't the final version of his costume. Because if you look at the, the Ant-Man costume here, it's a similar shape, but a lot of the facial details are, bit, are different. 
So if you pause it when he's having a drink at about 52 seconds, you can sort of see that it is totally, totally different to the um, one shown in Civil War. It's got a lot more detail. It's more old. It's more of the old school suit. So it makes you it makes you wonder something. Yeah, I, I just think that shot hasn't been finalized visually. I'll see. I, I'm now more leaning of could he get a new suit? Um, I don't know, because this suit is. Um, Hanks. Yeah, let me just scroll up to the Civil War one. Where the hell is that? There it is. The, col the, the colouring is different as well. And the actual, like, the bodysuit is different as well. No, the, the, the bodysuit itself is... Yeah, I think they just haven't finished the visual effects on that helmet. Looking at them side by side... Yeah, I don't think that the helmet looks... Looks weird as well. Yeah, the 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 suit itself, the belt looks a little bit different, but that's about it between the two of them. the 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 majority of the suit still looks exactly the same, shot to shot, with yeah. the exception of the helmet. So I suspect yeah. the the helmet just hasn't been finalized in CG, which is not uncommon for visual effect shots to not be fully finalized yeah. in trailers. So they've still got a couple of months to sort of finish it. Yeah, because we don't get this until uh, May, so... Exactly. So, anyway. Now for the big one. Now, to me... The, the Jungle Book! The, oh, the Independence Day trailer <laughs> won everything. The Independence Day... If there was a contest for the best trailer that I've seen, the Independence Day trailer wins it, hands down. No contest. Did you even see the Jungle Book trailer? No. It's the it's Jungle actually, Book. I. It's, okay. it's the Jungle Book. It it loses by default for being the Jungle Book. It's like Teenage Mutant Turtles loses by default. Bill Murray's Baloo is hilarious. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this is my favorite trailer. Well, then you're wrong. Anyway, Independence Day trailer. It, this is cool. This is like, oh my god, show me this movie already. Cool. So it starts off with um, Star, Star Spangled Banner? Is that the song? Yeah. Yeah. The American, yeah. The American yeah. National Anthem. Just, I'm guessing it's actually meant to be a Super Bowl. It's a, it is definitely a Super Bowl or a, it is a massive football game, whatever it is. It's definitely American football. And it's them singing um, that and it's sort of a slow reveal of the stadium from above. You see the, the soldiers down on the field and then... Um, you see the fighters fly past with their smoke sh their smoke trail, and it's like, <laughs> oh, I'm getting there, cool. I'm getting there, and then it's and it's all like, oh, this is all really cool, and then you see the alien fighters fly past behind them, just shooting everything to hell. Cut to space, the battle above Earth, presumably early on in the movie, um, when the giant spaceship arrives. I think it's before it enters the atmosphere. They detect it coming and they send them up there to try and stop them. True. Um, and it looks like an incredibly impressive battle. Then you see the spaceship entering the plat the atmosphere and the planet. And you see it just plowing through... Everything. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I recognise this. <laughs> Zoom and enhance. Is that Washington? Or is that Canberra? <laughs> what, so we get invaded first? No, 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 no. It's, I'm, I'm being serious. That looks like the War Memorial Road off to the side. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's Washington. But it, the camp. No, that's definitely Washington. I can see the Pentagon in the foreground. I'm an idiot. Scrub that. Yeah, that's Washington getting annihilated. Of course it's Washington. Everything, everything with, with movies always... I know, that's why I was like, wait, is why would Canberra be invaded? We're Australia, we don't do anything. We could, that, if, if that was Australia, that would literally be our air force, that one plane would be our entire air force trying to defend us. It's like, we've sent in the Australian air force, great, where are the hot air balloons? <laughs> <laughs> we're not that bad. I know we're not that bad, but I like to joke about it compared to America. <laughs> and that becomes probably my favourite part of the trailer. 
Oh yeah, you see shit getting picked up. I wonder what city that is. I don't know, but is that Titan Tower off to the side? <laughs> I'd laugh if it was like the Avengers Tower. <laughs> um, whoopsie, I skipped out of that shot for a second. I went the wrong way. Okay, so you see a city getting what looks like... It doesn't look like it's been blown up. It definitely looks like it's being sucked up. Yeah, it's getting absorbed or... Yeah, lifted up. And then you see the new token black guy. Sorry, it's true. The son of the dude from the original movie. Yeah. And then probably one of the most terrifying shots I've ever seen. The, <laughs> yeah. the Bajar Khalifa falling from orbit onto London. Yeah, what comes up must come down. Yeah. And it's not just that. If you look in that shot, there is. There's oil tankers and... In the foreground, that round thing that's exploding sort of looks like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> hey. It does! Leave Chewie alone, he's already lost hard. <laughs> it does look like the giant round thing in the foreground looks like the Millennium Falcon if the nose is pointing up off frame. But yeah, this stuff is just raining down on London. And he's like, what goes up must come down. And then you get the coolest shot of the, the barge landing spire first upside down into the ground and just disintegrating and you just see people just scrambling which presumably london is and that's that's pretty much it well, now I could, you can tell it's london oh yeah it shows london from a distance yeah and it's so so that means that well in order to get there that means it's got to have traveled about a, a quarter ish of the way around the planet so, just, that is insane. Like, that isn't total devastation. That is, that's lunacy. Makes it, or makes you wonder if, if what it is, is if there's multiple ships placed in certain countries, and that they're teleporting everything to, to di different places. No. What I think it, that, that big ship's doing when you see it burying in, is acting like a shovel. And it's boring in the whole way down to the mantle, and just picking the crust up, and tossing it. Oh god. And it's effectively just... You could sort of maybe come back from the destruction of a city or two dozen. But when you lose entire continents... It's not really a coming back from that. <laughs> Mind you, destroying the Middle East... Probably doing us a favour. No offense intended to anyone there, but you guys know what the problem is. They have all our oil. Yeah, but we don't need oil. Not well. That world doesn't need oil. It's got alien, kick-ass alien tech. So, so yeah. Anyway, no, we don't want to buy your planes off you. <laughs> like I said, we only we only have one anyway. Don't really have room for one. No. Yeah. We have a budget for one. So, so those are the big trailers that dropped. Um, you've your the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Bourne also dropped a trailer. I didn't know they were making another Bourne. Did yeah, you? not really, but that's because I lost interest in that series a while ago. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Jungle Book dropped a trailer. So, um, it's time to do the model report with Eugene and Perry County Hobbies if he can. Do it before his Skype craps itself. Well, I switched computers, so I think things are working finally. Excellent. So, model report. Go! Well, this model report I decided to do Back to the Future. And two companies are doing Back to the Future model kits. Uh, round two, under the Polar Lights name, is doing Snap Together kits. I like and those. They're easy. Are people there? Yeah. Uh, the Snap Together kits they're doing... Yep, there goes um, EJ. <laughs> they're, they do, they're doing the ones from the first film, the second Hello? film, and two... EJ, and we two have you. E EJ. Oh, God, we have noise now. Yep, EJ, EJ's gone. And he managed to knock me off when he did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's EJ for you. EJ, the Skype demon. 
<laughs> so keep going. Okay. Uh, for the first film, um, you can build it as either the grappling hook or I, or the uh, yeah the the hook or the Mister Fusion. The second film version has the the wheels down so it can be built in flight, and then the two for the third film um, has either the white wall tires or the train main wheels. Nice. And those ones run between. Thirty-two dollars U.S. and forty dollars U.S. Not bad. The second company. Um, oh God, EJ, why? <laughs> what? What? Huh? Anyway, bottle report. Keep going before we lose you again. <laughs> um, Aoshima, Aoshima, or Aoshima. My apologies if I pronounced it wrong, which I'm sure I did. They're it's okay. It's okay. You're American. We forgive you. They're doing three kits. One from the first film, one from the second, and one from the third. The only one they're not doing is the one with the train wheels. Um, these are glue together kits. Uh, and they run about $45 a piece. Yeah, I prefer the snap together kits. No glue required. Makes it a lot easier. But those are my kits. For, or that's the report for this week from Sweet. Perry County Hobbies. Just because we don't need any more problems with Skype, we'll get it done and over with. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on to the Doctor Who thing. Now, I asked these guys to make themselves a list of people that they would like to see being the Doctor. Um, just, just different actors from different series. Um, so it's open to any male or female from any country around the world that we think would be Good for good for the role. So I'll kick it off with Richard A. U. Day Do Die Known as Moss from IT Crowd. I'm just gonna call him Moss from now on because that name just Richard A do dum diddy dum diddy do. Yeah, it's half the people probably being named by the actors. The characters they did, yeah, the proper names. Exactly. We'll put it this way: it's a, it goes a y o a d e. You can work out how the hell to say that. You're doing a better job than me. Anyway, Moss for my T crowd. I can just picture it now, because everything I've seen him in outside of IT crowd, he seems to be playing Moss, or slight variations thereon. So just keep him. Just imagine Moss. Um, someone goes, oh, that's a really nice Tardis. It's not for sale. So, <laughs> laugh all you want, still not for sale. And see, I could just see him just playing that ridiculously dry humour so well. Could be hilarious. So, Stuart, who's your choice? Uh, I'm gonna go uh, a little different. I'm gonna go Lupita Nyong'o. And that is... Maz Kanata from Force Awakens. Ah. I'm with you. <laughs> it just... The, after after seeing her do that, I, I just... I have a, I have a newfound respect for her doing a very, um, sort of wisdom-type role. I think it'd be... I'd like to see a, a... I think it'd be very interesting her being a doctor. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good call. So, EJ, do you have any choices for the doctor? Hugh Laurie, hands down. No competition, Hugh Laurie. <laughs> that was my second choice, and he knows it. <laughs> no, I <hey>, don't. <laughs> so, Maybe? Yeah, yeah. Hugh Laurie would be spectacular as the Doctor. Oh, man. But... He'd be really good at bridging that gap between grumpy Capaldi and fun Matt Smith. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, I honestly, if we were going to head towards a grumpy Capaldi, I think he would be better but as the sort of the middle doctor between the two. Yes. So, I, th we th I think we missed the, the best chance to have the perfect sort of transition doctor ever. So, mm. maybe we could have use him to tr transition to, I don't know, Patrick Stewart? Also known as my third choice. Don't, don't, don't get my hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> It'd actually be pretty funny, because he... Because after playing Picard on Star Trek, there's actually a Star Trek Doctor Who crossover where he meets Matt Smith. 
it would be hilarious if he becomes the Doctor. The only way that could be better is if, um, what's-his-face is the Master. Um, ah, forgotten his name. Always hanging out together. Ian McKellen? Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Imagine them yes. playing the Doctor Master opposite each other. That would be the greatest thing in history. How dare you get my hopes up? <laughs> so, Eugene, have you got any choices? I, th- I thought Sean Connery would make an interesting doctor. Yeah, that Sean Connery would be, would be really cool. A younger Sean Connery, but, you know... Yeah. Um, but... Yeah. That'd be good. Just go back in the TARDIS and pick him up in his prime and bring him forward and use him and then dump him back there. I like it. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Yes, it doesn't. So, Amy, what are your choices? Um, Michael, um, I forgot his last name. He did Lex Luthor. For one of them. Lex Luthor? Which in Oh, Fastbender. Oh, no, not Fastbender. Um, um, Rosenbaum. The one from Smallville? Yeah. Yeah, Michael Rosenbaum. Ah, yes, I'm with you. Took me a minute. <laughs> He's a Fruit Loop to meet. Um, <laughs> He's actually a really awesome guy. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, let's just not put him and another person together and then we're fine. Uh. <laughs> They're playing football at Supernova. Oh, God. I see that ending about as badly as possible. Um, or... Um, Black Widow. Yeah, B- Black Widow. Um, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Aha! I knew a name. I got a name right. Woo! Sixty-nine episodes, and I finally got a name right. <laughs> yeah, Scarlett. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that would be an, that would be an interesting um take on the Doctor. Um, yeah. Well, they really need to be active. Yeah. Um, although my sort of one of my other choices would be someone like Emma Watson if you want a relatively young doctor a relatively female doctor I think she could do a decent job of it um, I don't see her have that, 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 that kind of smart ass yeah, aspect yeah but you could say that about Matt Smith Matt Smith doesn't have that old wise guy sort of feel to him but he still managed to pull it off for the most part right but but he ha he has that kind of smart ass yeah aspect to him like he you're right he doesn't have that old aspect that that kind of grouchy old man but you still have that that quick wit and that um yeah. uh, that, that like I said that smart ass aspect and I just I don't see Emma Watson pulling that off yeah that'd be interesting to see yeah be, oh yeah it could be worse we could have twin doctors <laughs> regenerates and just boop. There's two of them, and you just, just have Catch and Jack standing there going, oh, you have no idea what I'm imagining right now. <laughs> Make it the Weasley twins, that way they think you'd be a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 one of them plays the Doctor, one of them plays the Master. <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and the entire episode is them oh. saying, but which one's the real me? <laughs> No, no. You put, you put them in the same clothes, the same gear, and they just have an entire episode where the companion is confused. <laughs> am I with the master or am I with the doctor? Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh. It's funny, you understand what the ginger reference is too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're sort of the elders, the, the wisest of the Time Lords, they're all ginger. And he's waiting to sort of regenerate as a ginger to sort of prove that he's now one of the sort of the high-ranking Time Lords. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah. So. But the president of the Time Lords wasn't, uh, no, wasn't ginger. No, he wasn't. It was, um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember reading about a reference to um, some sort of ancient order of elite Time Lords that sort of they all try and aspire to be. Uh, they're all ginger. You're ginger. How do you know? 
My sister's ginger. I'm not. Well, I, I don't, but you seem like a very soulless person, so. It's what I do. I'm, I'm half ginger, so does that mean I have half a soul? Uh huh. That would actually explain quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> See, I have I um brown hair on top, but my beard is like orange as hell. That is just ginger Obi Wan Kenobi. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but a soulless Obi Wan Kenobi would make a lot of sense. Anyway, we were off topic by about a year, so. <laughs> what else is new? Yeah, fair point. Um, so taking your pick, who? Anyone got any other ideas we could throw forward as? Doctors? Can we just make Rory a doctor? He might mean he's pretty much one in Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going to do Scarlett Johansson, how about Ming-Na uh, as uh, uh, Agent <laughs> Colson as the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I was, I'm thinking we no, make no. Melinda maybe the doctor. Yeah. yeah, no, no, I'm just, I'm just in my head, I'm just picturing Colson as the Doctor would be hilarious. Oh, yeah. And the, the bus is the TARDIS. <laughs> no, 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 the car yeah, the that car, flies. The car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's he call that car again? Um, oh. It's got a name. I, Lola. I what? Lola. 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 That's right, Lola. Hey, what about the. Lola's Lola could be the next doctor. <laughs> you want to be the next doctor? No, Lola. I'll, I'll be the next doctor. Okay. Okay, EJ, if you're the next doctor, the, the, the thing to your left is your Sonic. What is it? I got a beer bottle. Sonic beer bottle. Woo! <laughs> I have a, I have the, the, the drug doctor. Just every episode, you just see him stop going, It's okay, I got this. It's just... And just give, give, and give never, the artist never actually reaches its destination. They're always <laughs> in the wrong place. Uh, he's secretly an alcoholic. <laughs> it would explain a lot. It would explain a lot. Oh. Uh. Doctor, doctor, no, no, no. Don't park inside the planet. Uh. Park on the surface. Uh. I had a camera. Well... I have, a, I have an Omnitrix to my left. Well, um, I've got a lightsaber, but I don't think that counts. Come on, they're using sunglasses. <laughs> Fair point. Oh, God, I hated that. Yeah. Mind you, his Dude, new when, Sonic looks really cool. When do we get... Oh, I'm guessing probably not for a while now. What? Till next year. Uh, also, I say, when do we get toys of the new Sonic? Not for a while now. No, probably not. So, anyway. Jeez, that really, was really awesome. Yeah, that okay. Um, honestly, that I think the best person to play the Doctor after Capaldi goes, if they're still looking for a sort of a wise, old, smart-assy sort of guy, there is no second to Hugh Laurie. There really isn't. Crowley. Crowley. Ooh. <laughs> Mark Shepard uh, is extremely hilarious. Yeah, if, if he hadn't him. been a Doctor Who already, I'd say yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Can't do that, Paul, when we're talking about Peter Capaldi. Yeah, well, he's only been in Doctor Who three separate times. It's fine. Hey, it could be worse. You could do Jack Smith. Uh... Jack Harkness. Oh, God. <laughs> Baramut. Baramut. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, oh, back. my God. Jack Harkness, and then the new incarnation of the Doctor looks exactly like Jack Harkness, and uh, they immediately like fall in love with each other and become obsessed with each other. <laughs> <sighs> so, I wish he wasn't yeah. doing Arrow at the moment. What? I wish he wasn't doing Arrow at the moment. Yeah, so he could come over here more for supernovas no, and stuff. So he could join the rest of the uh, Torchwood team. Yeah. For supernova. Exactly. I've been tormenting on on online, but he he can't do it. He's too busy. Sad face. Oh no. That'd be like the greatest sort of drop ever. Just he randomly turns up. It wouldn't surprise me if he did. Yeah. Just in the middle of the panel. Oh hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you, no no oh no, no my god. No no no. What happens in the middle of the panel? They're all everyone's sort of they're all lining up for a question, and you see this dude just big hood covering everything. You can't see it. Forces his way to the front of the line, then volunteers like 
Not only cut to that, he grabs the microphone and goes, flips off the hood and goes, Hi! <laughs> Never just be like, <laughs> The crowd would go mental. Yeah. And just when he, he break loves everything. stirring them up. Uh, just break everything. This so. wouldn't be the first panel he's invaded. Oh yeah. He, he does that a lot. <laughs> or he invades the panel and well, um, stands in line with everyone else and then asks them a question. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah, so I think that just about covers our Doctor Who ideas. I still think the best choice is Hugh Laurie. Out of all of them. Um, Patrick Stewart would be spectacular. Can you imagine sort of a Picard-esque doctor that every time Why someone tries he? to act stupid, he's like, No! Enough of that! Shame on you! <laughs> I don't know. That would be, I, I think that would be horrible just because if, if it was a Picard-esque doctor... Uh, it would just be boring because Do- Picard was so humorless. Yeah, fair point. The, the the Doctor Who has definitely lost its humor in C- the Capaldi era. I think so. it's gotten it back this past season. Yeah, last season I was think... definitely good. Last season was yeah. definitely better. I still I think so. The Doctor playing a guitar, riding a tank, wearing <laughs> sunglasses. Uh, yeah, that was that was one of those moments where it's like. Were they on LSD? I'm pretty sure they're on LSD. I don't know if they're on LSD or not, but I like it. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, even for Doctor Who, this doesn't make any sense. It's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, anyway, then we'll move on to the news. Excellent. Excellent. Do we have a lot? There's a few interesting... Um tidbits of news. Nice. Well, you've got ten minutes. Yep. Uh, first one, again, this is purely a rumour. But apparently you McGregor is in talks for episode eight. Oh, nice. So he will be uh, is in reprising, old be- is reprising Ben. Yep. EJ's gone. His phone, phone just... Died. His phone died. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> So yeah, um, again, this is uh, um, Christian Halloff of uh, Schmoes Knows and uh, Collider Videos who do some awesome, um, do re- recap shows for um, Rebels, Arrow, Flash, and also have an entire podcast uh, for um, Star Wars new Star Wars stuff. Hmm. Uh, tweeted a uh, grain of salt hearing that Ewan McGregor is in talks to play um, Obi Obi Wan's Force Ghost in Episode Eight. Those nice. guys do um, get a lot of. Um, details from Disney and stuff so yeah. that could so it could be true and it could it might not be yeah so but yeah Force Ghost moment would be interesting yeah uh, this is sad uh, the, the screenwriter for Big Hero 6 has passed away wait what? yeah Daniel Gerson passed away at age 49 oh god yeah yeah um, George Ar- George R. R. Martin is still at it bloody hell yeah, he had a uh, brain cancer. Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, he was also uh, he was also uh, co-wrote uh, Monsters Incorporated and Monsters University. Ah, oh, nice. And it was also uh, uh, other credits include Chicken Little Cars, Open Season, Meet the Robinsons, Up, and Inside Out. So basically, it's just a part of. Me- major Pixar films for the past 10 years. Yeah, pretty much. That'll, that'll be a big blow for Pixar. Yeah. Some of those movies are their, their big, big titles. Especially the last two, Up and Inside Out. Oh, yeah. So. So, yeah, that was a sad one that I came across. So. I don't no, think that's been announced anyway yet. So much for Big Hero 6 too. Yeah. Being, being uh, written by him anyway. This is going to move along to Arrow, and we've got a new, uh, got a, po- uh, poster for uh, K- Killer Frost. Oh, nice. And it's just the way they've done the the way they've done it is is really cool. So um obviously um Danielle Panabaker is uh, going to be doing it because she's because it's Earth to Caitlin is evil. And the way that they have it is um she's got icicles coming out of the palms of her hands, like two sharp like it looks really awesome. Wow, so she's gone full um evil on well this yeah. is her Earth two counterpart, so it's full evil. sub full sub zero. Uh 
Yeah, well, it, it, she doesn't have like the Sub Zero outfit, but yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. Killer Frost is like full ice powers. Nice. It's actually funny because um, <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, what's Stephen Amell's cousin's name? Robbie. Robbie Amell. It's coming back from is this is next week's episode as um Deathstorm, which is basically evil um Firestorm. <laughs> Nice. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, there's a new post, uh, Arrow poster, uh, featuring uh, Malcolm and Thea. Yep. So, and there's also a trailer to go with it, and the episode is called "The Sins of the Father." Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm actually really liking where Arrow's going at the moment. It is getting a lot darker, so... Yeah, it's getting, it's getting better. I still... Like, I stand by my previous statements that... On the... T on internet series... So, Netflix-based stuff. Marvel's got it. No contest. TV-based series. I actually think Arrow and Flash and Supergirl are doing a better job... Than... Agent Carter and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, both of which are sort of very average... Which is sad, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sounded really strong. Yeah, it did. And it sort of just sort of petered away. Um, and... Well, um, I'm wondering if it's because oh, it started mainly because of how popular Coulson was in Avengers and stuff, so... Pretty much, yeah. And they kept mentioning Avengers and stuff, so I'm wondering with Civil War if, they, if Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. might make mention of that or something. Honest, so I'm pretty sure in Civil War, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. guys will be... will have something to do with that. Because Civil War takes place, I think, just after this series ends. Oh, okay. So, that could be a good way to bring the humans in. Yeah. Um, that'd be an interesting sort of twist in the movie. Oh, look, Coulson's back! Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? For, for two years I've been alive running around and I haven't told you! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! My name is Agent Coulson. For the past two years I've been trapped in hell. Trapped in hell. Oh, God, what the hell is that? Oh, God, what the hell is that? It's Eugene. It's Eugene. It's Eugene. It's Eugene. Eugene. What? Eugene is echoing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving along to um. Sorry, Eugene. I've got to drop you. You're echoing too much. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, echo yeah. gone. <laughs> uh, keeping with um Arrow news, uh, Deathstroke is likely not to return to Arrow because of another DC project. Okay. The rumor is that they're going to do a TV version of Suicide Squad. Ooh. They... Hence why, hence why um, Waller was spoilers for who didn't see last couple of episodes. Why um, Amanda Waller was killed off in the sh in the Arrow show recently. Yeah. Yeah, Waller, that that was one of those sort of moments where I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Or there's also another rumor that um, Destro could appear in um, one of the Batflex, Batfleck films. Yeah. Yeah. So, all we know is, all we know is that the, he won't be um, returning to Arrow anytime soon. That's sort of annoying, but it makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, so this is cool. I, I don't know if if you know about the uh, the Voltron reboot that um, Netflix is, and DreamWorks are doing. Really? Yeah. Really. Really. Yep. Uh, the uh, it is called Voltron Leg uh, Legendary Defender. Oh God. <sighs> How they leave some of the old shows alone? No. No. Come on, they killed Blinky Bill. I'm not even gonna watch that one. <laughs> They killed Inspector Gadget. Yep. Mind you, Inspector Gadget was pretty catastrophic to begin with, so it wasn't <laughs> that I hard. But I liked it catastrophic. Uh, so, oh, yeah, anyway. Let's do it. Go. So this is cool. Uh, uh, Netflix uh, released um, a uh, an alternate uh, uh, Daredevil outfit, like what, what, like some concept art of what it was originally going to be. Oh, okay. Looks actually looks really cool, except for the ears. The ears look very look too elfish. Yeah. Um. I also saw somewhere. I don't know if you've got this in front of you. The Luke Cage series has a. Um. Uh, da, 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 I thing. did see that. I'd see if I can find it. Yeah. 
that was a little while ago though. Yeah, they they released a synopsis for the Luke Cage series, I think. I think it was something like that. Derailing the news, it's what I do. Ha ha. <laughs> so, yeah. Apparently, um I missed this story from a couple of weeks ago. Yep. But um apparently Iron uh, actor for Iron Fist has been cast. Ah, that may that might have been it. <laughs> they uh they joke uh that he's in a ba- it's like the actor has been cast but he's in a basement somewhere. When time was right, they'll let him up and tell him where he is. Oh God. <laughs> uh. Wrong for so many reasons. But funny nonetheless. Oh yes. So yeah. Oh, and Star Wars is, uh, Episode Seven has finally crossed two billion. Oh yeah. Oh, and we're getting a Lego Star Wars as well. Oh God no. <laughs> So, so, I like Lego. Don't get me wrong, I do. It's just the Lego video games annoy me. Oh, come on now. Have you not played the Lego Avengers one? I own I... it, and I got it to get the the Iron Man minifigure. That's it. That, that's it. That's, that's the entirety of it. <laughs> so, it's, it's sitting in its box, unopened. Actually, no, I lie. It has been opened because I put the DLC codes inside the box. And other than that, it's unopened. <laughs> oh, and some guests have been announced for Oz Comic Con as well. Some oh yeah, guests. So. Uh, Rachel Luttrell, uh, we all know her. <laughs> hey, she was awesome. Yeah, uh, Lucy Lawless. Yep. So oh, Zena. Yeah. Before I forget, really quickly, because we've only got about thirty seconds left. Um, for those of you who don't follow David Hewlett on YouTube, please look up his most recent video. He's just announced something really, really, really cool. So, anyway. Uh, if you want to, oh, I think Eugene just jumped back in. Um, so if you want to look at any of the news, check out facebook.com slash save sci-fi, check out facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast for all of the podcast details. We'll put up events every time we have a podcast and we'll catch you guys next week. Bye. 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 Oh, Eugene jumped in to say goodbye. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Skype sucks today. Oh Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.